Hello. So, back into farm sim again. So, I put out uh, Fallout 4 videos last week. Just to see what it would go. And it was okay, I just had to upload it all on the uh, Saturday night with the farm sim videos, and it was easy enough to do. Because it, it was done by the time I was awake. Like, I went to it started at like 10 to 11 ish, put the uploads on, and went to bed, woke up about 67 in the morning, which is a long lie in for me to be honest. I checked it, all the uploads were done, so that's easy enough for me to upload 10 videos a week. So I'll probably carry on doing that. Anyway, so for now, yeah, I've got, as you can see there on the display, I've got GPS and auto combine now installed. I've not tried auto combine yet. Auto combine yet. I haven't had any fuel to harvest. <laughs> and GPS, uh, I've managed to get the hang yet, so I can use that to fix my course for the grass. Anyway, so shift tab. Latest vehicle in the fleet was this one, the New Holland T8. I've been using it the horn and just kind of tipper face now. But the plan was to, where is it, get one of these grass wagons and 240 horsepower and 90 horsepower, so about 330. I think that guy can take 330 horsepower in the water. Right, 435, <laughs> he can pull that in the water. Yeah, so I'm going to attach the one more I've already got and get the, uh, the forage wagon and take him up to this field, buy it and set up some courses for mowing the lawn and picking up the grass for the sheep. Of course, he won't be doing that all the time, that'll just be when he's not doing the uh, towing this wagon, which is for wood chips, taking wood chips to the chipping shed and also when the harvest is on, this will be helping out with collecting the harvest. Right, we've got this Zetor Major, uh, one of the gold edition, gold edition tractors, and it's got this liquid sprayer I bought on sale a while ago and never had a chance to use it, so this will be doing the fertilising along with the other one, to speed up the fertilising and speed the fields, but I shouldn't need too many fertilisers because it's, these are like 26 metres and 24 metres, they'll quickly do any field on their own. A lot faster than these here. The seeders can do them. Right, we've got the JCB fast track here, which is pulling the uh, cultivator to do the sugar beets, potatoes, and corn because they don't sell seed. Uh, they don't them. Um, they can't cultivate and seed at the same time. And they've got this other way JCB. It's pulling the seeder here, which means that these two we fields because I had trouble with them last time. I remember. This is going to pull the cedar to do the canola on these fields only. And it might pick up like field 19 there just as well to help out. And we've got the Zetor crystal which is pulling the cedar of corn and sugar wheats. It doesn't need that much horsepower to pull this thing. We have the Omer, the what do you call it, Terra variant. And it has this slurry tanker, and I didn't know this until I bought it, but this thing here cultivates land as it slurries. So that's going to help out up at the potatoes and sugar beet fields, and the corn fields. And it's how much however the slurry I get in a day before the, cult the harvest starts, that's how much slurry he's going to fill up and he's going to do as much as he can with that until he's run out, and then the JCB will take over with the cultivator export and the other fertilizers will take over the the wee the one you've seen before the fertilizer liquid sprayer and the uh, fertilizer spreader they will take over after he's ran out of slurry. We've got another MAN with a crampy and right next to it the other MAN with a crampy. This Harley man has just been given the fertilizer spreader there. And he's so that's like Four fertilizer spinners I've got now in total. <laughs> uh, which makes sense, there's about five vehicles that go at once for harvesting. Uh, got the sugar beet harvester, the corn harvester, the potato harvester, 
canola harvest and wheat barley harvest. So that's five harvesters going at once. So having four spares is not that bad. So one of them is only going to do like one or two fields in its one. <laughs> and that was the last thing I bought last time. Yay! Well, that's all I've got. Nothing has grown yet, as you can see. So I've not had a chance to do the harvest. My plan is, though, put it on this. I'm going to change 27 and 33 over to wheat. And 22 will become barley. So that means I'll have 12 hectares of barley, 12 hectares of wheat, which will amount to 1.2 million silage per day. So yeah, that'll give me more enough for the guy down here to do. That'll give me enough money for every day just to keep... <laughs> that'll give me plenty of money each day. I'll quite set up the courses for that though. De -de -de. Yeah, and I also had to stack up another pile of wool. Uh, yep, yeah, he's finest now, and that's finest now. Alright. And I think I've worked at the source of my... Did I see it last time? I've worked at the source of my money. What, causing... All the money I get at the end of the day is actually from... Oh yeah, I'll set up the horse here. So we can do this silo here. There's only about half a million in here. But that's... Ugh, just gonna finish, let it ferment, and I'll have two empty silos to start the next one on. I'm gonna split it up so like wheat goes in here and the barley goes in here. All the straw from the fields that is. Well, all the straw that's been chaffed will go in, from wheat will go in here. All the straw from barley that's been chaffed will go in here. And then at the end of the day, no matter how much I've got, I'll ferment it. And while that's fermenting, the next harvest will go in here and here. And while they're fermenting, and that's emptied. The next harvest will go in there. Hopefully. That's hopefully how it'll work. <laughs> I'll have to see if the numbers work out right. As you can see, this guy's doing nothing right now because there's nothing for him to do. <laughs> right, uh Right, what's your Right, let's go give these sheepy some grass. I think they've got plenty of grass as is, but so I might just bump the sheep up because they're barely doing anything just now. I mean, this is like two or three days worth of grass and they're... Yeah, he's still got like 10,000 there, that's... Yeah. The first thing we do is probably buy some sheepies. We own 50. Let's bump that up to... That's barely... I'm not even getting a pallet a day with that, so... Let's bump you up to... Now, this is barely costing me anything here. I mean, 15,000 for 50 sheep. Um... Bugger it, I'm going right up to 200. <laughs> I don't know if I should have 200 or not, but we'll see if I can handle 200. By way of having 200 to handle. And if the worst comes to worst, we'll just sell some sheep off. Mm, this is just like me hitting enter over and over and over here. This is an awesome let's play, let's play video here. I'm just hitting enter over and over while this screen just buys me more and more sheep. Mm, bump you up to... Yeah, PP, these guys are real money earners. I can have enough sheep to actually produce it. And I think the mod he's got changes the amount of wool they produce or something. Because 50 sheep don't even do one day's worth. Right, let's go see what sheep we've got now. Have I got 200 sheep in this field? Hey, yeah. Hey, mutton. You must be lamb chops play along here. 
Or you lamb chops play along. Yeah, okay. Yeah, these wee buggers are going around and eating my grass. I mean, they've got grass right in the field here. Why do they have to fill up the grass? They've got grass right here. Look at this. Grass everywhere. Why do they need to fill this thing up? So that's like half ten, and I've given them a full amount of grass they can hold. And there's 200 of them, so let's see what they use up. 6,000. So they've got 6,000 grass. Let's see what 200 sheep use every day. Well, in two hours for this record session, anyway. And how quickly that sheep wool pallet fills up. I need 200 wool to start with, and I need 2,000 for a pallet. And we'll see what I've got at the end of the record session. So this field here is one I want to buy and turn to grass, and use it for getting grass for the sheep. Let's see what it's like. Hello. Field is 60,000. I'll buy it some other point where I've got the money because I need 100,000 to pay for the wages for all these workers I'm going to have going at the same time. So let's go down and earn a bit more money actually so I can pay for. Right, I'm down here now. As you can see, I've already killed half this forest already. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they really do not like me. Greenpeace really, really hates me now. But, up here. I use GPS for this, actually. And it works brilliantly. Just for this row up here. Dum -de -dum. This last row, I use GPS to plan. And they're actually all nicely in a row. Compared to the ones I planted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at this. Ah, a really straight line I drove there. Yeah, see this one is not even in line with the ones behind it? Awesome. Oh, you can see, oh, hello. Oh, no, hang on, that's the ones in the background. <laughs> Oops. I mean, I'd seen it like that, and I thought those two trees there had grown really big. Oops. No, they're starting to grow. 11 days, though, for this shit to happen. Mm. <laughs> it looks like they'll all be the same size, but no, it's going to be these mid-sized fir trees I'll get from the looks of the colour of the bark and uh, where the leaves go on. Could I just like chop at this now? I could chop at this now and get considerably less money. But uh, it's good to know I could do that if I was desperate for money. I can only wait three days and just chop down the ones I've got. Right. I also mean wood chipping in the meantime as well. Like all the trees I had over there, the biogas plant, I've chipped them all. Dum -dum. Dum -dum. Dum -dum -dum -dum. Doug, what are you up to? Doug, I swear, just hates being quiet and at peace. These fir trees are very easy for like sailing to the train and also for chipping, but I don't plan on chipping these trees. The chipper is just there to get rid of trees I don't want. I'm not even selling the wood chips, I'm just like stockpiling every single thing I collect. You look at the like here. Yeah, I'm just stockpiling stuff. 
I'm not even caring about selling stuff now. I'm just going to stockpile it all the same time. I don't even need to make money from that. The amount of money I make from selling crops is a pittance compared to other things I can do. If I'm really stuck for money, I can just do jobs with the front loader. You know, like the notice board jobs. Mm. Four to six grand a time, and I quickly go through that. You'll make more money from doing that than you will from actually selling your crops every day. That's locked in place. You do not want a tree flapping about and try dry to the truck. Yeah, so the four, four like I was saying, it went well. Upload was easy enough, but there was a slight issue with copyright. One of the radios, so I, I said in the middle of the let's play, oh god, that radio was on. It's been giving me fucking shit with the YouTube copyright system, and it did. The radio was, I got a copyright flag for it, but I managed to remove the audio. Along with all the audio in the play, it, the episode at that point, and the flag was removed. That's okay to me. I got rid of the flag, which was the main part. So I, so I went and downloaded a mod from the Nexus to remove all audio from radios. I cannot remember who made the mod, to be honest with me. But I am going to get a list of the mods I got. Who made them and links to them to those mods if you're in the playlist for four. It won't be in the description of every single video, it won't be in the playlist description. So it's, yeah. I think I'll just copy and paste that in. No, yeah. Yeah, that's so all I'll just put it in the playlist description. And if the mod offers are see the video and say they want their links in it, no, that's fine, I'll do that. I really think, like, having a link to the mod in the description of the playlist isn't enough. That's, I'm happy enough to put the shift in the description of the more videos as well, but to be honest, just personally, I don't see the point of putting it two places and having to remember to put it in two places at once, but whatever. Only if it becomes an issue, I don't have to worry about that. Alright. So I want another small tree just to put in there. Nope, nope. That's no, definitely a nope for small. They're all mid size. Oh, is this a. Nope, that's a mid sized one. You can tell the difference, like, see that one tree there to the left of the boomer? That is a darker colour than all the trees around it, and it's actually not small enough to have a small tree. All the small and large trees have that dark colour. All the mid-sized trees have these whiter coloured barks. And you can tell the difference a small if you can't tell the difference that small tree in front of me and that large tree to the right there. I mean let's go out and look. Small tree. Large tree. Small tree. Large tree, mid mid sized tree, mid sized tree, whatever. Now I'm not sure how it's going to be on the video for brightness now, because I've been trying to arrange it so much at least what I see is what you see as well. And get a balance between. Oh, can't see Jack shit. Oh no. On YouTube, and me actually having a fun time from not being able to see like a fucking. not have the night vision of a dog. Yeah, something that annoys me are people that download games or play games or whatever, and they leave their TV too bright, and it's like, oh, this game's too bright. 
I don't want to play it. I've got to mod out the brightness. No, you don't have to mod out the brightness. All you have to do is turn your fucking TV down. Seriously, get a life of these jackasses. And learn how to turn the brightness of your TV down. Oh, but if it's not bright, we can't see. What was that not what you were complaining about? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Assholes really need to learn how to turn the brightness of TV down. Or just stop whining about the fact that they've turned their brightness up. Right, that's four trees. Yay! I tried to get the same size tree on this same row. Well, I'm just being picky at that though. Here we go. I had size tree. You notice we have practice against that and a little forward than it needs to be. That's the way when I cut it, the pressure from this will push the tree where I want it to go. It always annoys me when these trees just fall in any old direction you want. And it usually ends up being in a way it's annoying for me to pick up. Much like this, it's falling where I want it to. I can just easily get that round there. Like that. And to that one there. It's held still for me to debranch. And I better turn the sensitivity. Yep. Because these boom arms are actually annoying as fuck at low sensitivity. On the telehandlers. They seem to have this really low sensitivity. Despite the sensitivity settings of my mouse. It's like compared to the front loader, this moved really slowly. You fucking nutball. But I have to get used to it for... Yep, that's okay. Like, how fast this moves now compared to before. I'm not used to that now. It's moving faster this way, but it's barely doing it and going up and down the way like that. Yeah. Come on. There we go. You have to play them sometimes to get them to sit right. Uh, like, I've got the course down now so I can drive into the train yard without having any problems. Like Even if I've got the dolly attached to that and just using the front loader I can drive into the train yard without any problems. Right, next we'll take this tree here. I'm just need to get this little mound here in the middle. The problem is with this sensitivity, it, it's hard to be accurate where we are aiming the mouse. Which is why I've also got this button here. See uh, the the speed there changed. Did you notice? <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't notice. Nah, uh, it's like this wee button on the mouse that lets me change sensitivity to well. But only for while I'm holding the button. Like so while I'm holding the button pressed down, the sensitivity is uh, a predefined sensitivity. And well it's not held down, it's like whatever the mouse defines the sensitivity as. That means like if I'm aiming in a first person shooter, I can hold the button down to get an accurate aim, but see the speed I can turn it, I can keep that up in all times and then just quickly hit the button and get a better aim. I 
I think you used to hit the button though. <laughs> keep forgetting it's there. I'm trying to keep them all the same size in one area, so go for you next. Apes. 12,000 EPI, man. And yeah, the recording for Fallout 4 this week will not happen the, the same time as this because I've not got the time. But I'm off work this week, so hopefully on Monday I can get a set of items recorded and one uploaded for Monday. So you should get all this. It won't be at the exact same time that you released on Monday, but you'll get two videos. And then for the rest of the week, it should be going as normal. I'm actually uploading it on Monday. It should be fine for uploading it because I can usually do that. Do that while I'm out. That's where I'm on, nephew. A little fun taking the little nephew to the park. And the only thing you hear all day is. Uncle Stuart, can you buy me this, Uncle Stuart? Nephews, eh? Who'd have them? Alright, that's not a login. And we have to do a bit of cuffling and shuffling about to get the next one in. Doug, what are you doing back there? Stop rubbing your ass in that radiator! What goes on? Uh, let's talk oh, park there. No, never mind. Madam, I just told you to stop rubbing your ass in that. Let's go back and knock it the way I want it to go. That's better. So it doesn't fall somewhere it's going to be hard to pick up and try and drive back out. That was the aim of that. Right, yep, there we go. in somewhere. Honestly, that's not okay in the ass. He's worse than, ne worse than nephews at times. Yipes. Doug! Excuse me, dude, Evans. Ow, ow, ow. Sorry about that. I have to go get the doggy. Just. She's under the bed. She's under the, in the bed under my computer desk now. Just for the time being, until she learns to stop rubbing her ass on my radiator. Right, and you get. Come on. Get in. Uh, I hate when it does this. You shift the logs around. That's it. Okay, down this end. It's down here, it's causing the problems. Yes. You have to do this sometimes, you have to go in and just puffle them about. Tall? Yes. Cause it causes problems when you're driving down there, like sometimes the logs will just spaz the fuck out. 
and cause the whole truck just to topple over for no reason. So you have to go in and kerfuffle them and get them to go where you want them to go. Or they will go where they want to go, which is not ever good news for you. I just realised this video is at 30 minutes now. Oops. Oh well, I'll stop the video here. And we'll see you in the next episode where we'll continue cutting down these trees and loading up that lorry. Thank you for watching.